So beekeeping can seem simple and cheap at the very beginning, but it's absolutely not. Oh, oh, oh! When most of us start beekeeping, it's because we know or have met somebody that is willing to help us out, to give us a few boxes, some frames, and to kind of get us started. And usually that ends up being free. But at one point, we have to upgrade our gear. And when you've been doing this for a couple years, you tend to have to take stock of your equipment and your gear, which means understanding how many boxes and how many frames you have, uh, in what shape they are, and do you need to do any maintenance. And this is where beekeeping and bee removals uh, start parting ways when it comes to equipment. When you're a beekeeper, you kind of know, I want to have two, three, four hives, and so you have the equipment for it, and that's awesome. But when it comes to bee removals, you might already have an apiary, and you're constantly bringing in bees. Those bees might be part of your apiary soon, or you're ready to rehome them, or somebody is giving you their equipment for you to put bees in. Nonetheless, you need a lot more equipment, a lot more boxes and frames. So at the beginning of doing all these bee removals last year, I ran out of space. I didn't have any more boxes and I had uh, upcoming bee removals to do. So I asked a friend if I could borrow one of their slimmer boxes. They're not as heavy and they fit a lot easier on ladders and places where you're kind of moving in intricate ways. And that box has seen a lot of years and I was looking at it the other day and thinking I should probably fix it and bring it back to its original look and unfortunately it's not looking great. A lot of times these uh, boxes are made out of plywood so the wood is separating, you know, it's seen weather, it's not uh, being taken care of that well. And so I decided, hmm, maybe I'll build my own. And then I remembered that I had an old sheet of plywood that I had bought to build a new chicken coop out of and ended up not doing that. And it's been sitting in our garage for a while and I thought, maybe I should use that. So I thought about how I could fit as many boxes into the sheet. And I found this free cutting tool on, uh, on the internet that would help me put in all the information for that specific narrow box and see how many I could make in that one sheet. So after putting in all the information about the sheet, I add all of the different cuts that I need. Uh, fortunately, they all kind of match in different ways. And then I add a curve thickness and this is what it popped up with. So I'm gonna take this drawing, take it outside, draw all of this out of the uh, sheet of plywood and start cutting so that I can start making these boxes. All right, so the first drawing that I came up with was the most efficient one to get as many boxes out of it. And then I realized that the sheet of plywood was not square. So it was gonna cause a lot of issues. There wasn't very much give in between. So all the errors would have compounded into a bunch of crap. So I took uh, two cuts out of every single one of those um, measurements and came out with the sides and the, and the tops and the bottoms and the front and back. So hopefully we will have enough to uh, put together some boxes. Okay, so we have all of our cutouts stacked together. I've got three other piles, so that means we have four boxes. I originally had five, but you know what happened. So um, I think what's important is to replicate exactly what we have here. So the way it is stacked on top of each other, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, I accidentally cut this one in the wrong size. Uh, it's normally supposed to be a nine by, nine and a half by seven and a half. And I, even though I measured twice, I still cut it in the wrong direction. And now it's an eight and a half by eight and a half. So, uh, 
unfortunately I'll have to like reuse this in another way but I made a few cuts and we're down to two boxes now. So we'll see if I can uh, pull out some other um, wood to you know, make up for what I just lost. All right, so that's how you build a box from scratch. Uh, obviously I showed a bunch of tools that a lot of people don't have and a lot of methods that people can have access to. Uh, the reason I really enjoyed this project was because of the plywood. I reused a sheet of plywood that I had in the, in the shop for a long time and uh, but it's more it's more about the fact that it's accessible to most people it's affordable and you can find it in most uh, you know hardware stores or like uh, McCoy's or Home Depot or Lowe's so um, I thought it would be a good way to you know make it more accessible to everybody um, I really enjoyed making the slimmer boxes because I got more out of it and the reason I chose that was one because I already had a box in that you know format but also because it was going to build my apiary for the bee the bee removal so now i have a lot more boxes to work with and i'm excited about that for the day when i get back to doing that uh, as you can see i don't live in texas right now uh, i'm living in europe and i'll be um yeah just kind of uh trying to learn a little bit more about uh apiculture um in Europe and just talk to more people and learn more more stuff um, there's the region that I'm in right now is very um, heavy on agriculture and farming so uh, there's a plethora of people that I can uh, learn and talk to so if you like this video please like it and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel we'll catch you on the next one